Hi gamers, it's me, Dennis McDonald, up here in the Dragon's Den, and I'm just continuing, continuing my series of videos on how my Adventure Maximum game system works. Uh, the rule book is out, and I'm slowly starting to market it and uh, pass knowledge around about it. And in our last video, we discussed what was inside this rule book. Adventure Maximum is a universal game system that covers everything, fantasy, science fiction, uh, modern day, and it's not, it's not a setting. Uh, it's a system for better role playing, maximizing your role playing advent tabletop adventures. And the whole system, everything, runs on a single die 10. Yes. And I'm going to show you how that works. And uh, believe me, I've played a tons of ga games and game systems over the years. I've been game mastering for 40 years. And uh, I believe. Eventually, I got tired of all the dice in gaming. I mean, there are mounds of dice and throwing dice and dice pools and everything. So when I wrote Adventure Maximum, which I really wrote 30-some 30, 30 years ago, uh, I wanted to cut it down the dice to just uh, one single die roll. And there were old days, in the old rules, we, we used to shoot uh, roll two percentile dice for everything. But in the, since I upgraded and I wanted to even take a step further, I broke it, wrote it down to just rolling one single die ten. And I'm going to show you how it works because the die 10 is an amazing dice. You can do several things with it. Okay, let's get to it. Let's show how this die 10 works. We're going to use my nifty little die rolling tray I picked up on my last convention. And we're going to take a die 10. Okay, the die 10 can be used four different ways in a game system. The first one is a die 5. And that's where you roll a die 10 and divide it by 2. And we've got a 3. And so 1 and 2 is 1. 3 and 4 is 2. So this is a 2 on a die 5. Let's try it again. We got a 2. 2 on a die 5 equals a 1 result. If you divide the number by 2 and you round up. All right. The second time, the second uh, what you said, of course, is a die 10, where numbers 1 through 0 equals 10. And this is a 0. That makes a 10. Or in, in my game, you will, it's also a wild roll. So you'll, you'll find out about that later. But this is a die 10, and you can roll 9. There's a 9, and there's a 2. And that's a straight number roll. All right. Now it can also be used as a two die ten. Two die ten. Once add them together. Eight plus three is eleven. Again, five plus one is six. So you can use it as two die ten, and you can also be used as a percentile dice. First number is four. Second number is seven. Forty-seven. First number is one. Second number is eighteen. So see, you can use the die 10 in four different ways that are specific to the game that move the mechanics, the whole mechanics is centered upon. Anyhow, that's what I wanted to show you. Now that we've gone over how the dice is played in the game, I want to now discuss what is the central core mechanic that powers the entire Adventure Maximum engine. And that is the master chart. And I've drawn it kind of crudely on here, but I think I can get the point across on the camera. This is the master chart that is the central core mechanic. Of the game you need all games need a central core mechanic that everything it runs from and that's makes it a lot simpler to figure out things like success chances of attacks and defenses and spell resistance or whatever if you have one central core mechanic that powers the entire engine it makes it a lot easier than having four or five different mechanics in the game. And central ma and Adventure Maximum, the central mechanic is the master chart. And I will just describe to you how it works. The success, the success chance you need to roll on a die 10 is determined by the master chart for any type of, type of uh, skill attempt, attack attempt, resistance, or whatever. And uh, the master chart is pretty easy. And I, I want to describe it to you. You have a, an awareness rank of 11. The difficulty... Uh, uh, level of the attempt to hear something is 10. You're plus one ra ranks above the difficulty level of the attempt. Plus one on the chart you, means you got a six or less on a die 10 to roll to succeed on, on the awareness check. And let's say you're attacking an orc with a rank 13 uh, attack and your, rank, and your orc defends with a rank 9. You're plus four ranks over the orc's, orc's defense. So that gives you a nine or less on a die 10, which is pretty simple on a pretty easy hit on a die 10. All right, let's suppose the spell you're, you're being, uh, has to resist a spell a level that has a strength level of seven and your spell resistance is five. Your two 
uh, levels below what you need on the on the rank difference. So you're minus two. You have to roll a three or less on a on a die ten. That's your success chance to succeed with resisting the spell. As you can see, it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. After a while, you won't even need the master chart. You can figure it all up in your head. And if all, all the ranks are equal, if you're if you're uh, Active rank is 10, and the difficulty level is 10. The ranks are equal. You have a zero, uh, zero when they're equal, you have a five or less uh, on the on a die 10 success chance. If your ranks go are so negative that they go up to the minus five or less on the on the on the chart, you have a have to roll a critical to succeed. Do you see that up there? Minus five or more critical and if your rank goes so high over the over the uh, difficulty level or the uh, resistance of the of the attack you have to roll a plus five or higher you have to roll a fumble to fail and that's it folks that's the master chart that's the key to everything that's how simple adventure maximum like i said you run the game a couple of times you won't even need the master chart and so uh, yeah, i described uh, the dice and the core mechanics of it all and uh, this is the first, uh, one of the first videos. We're going to continue making more videos. It's going to cover character creation. I think we're going to cover next. And various aspects of the game, like how, how you critical and fumble, how, how you earn luck levels, and how you spend luck levels and stuff. But for right now, I hope you enjoyed this little look inside the Adventure Maximum system. And it gives you some idea how, how the whole thing runs. And I will see you in the next video on the Adventure Maximum channel up here in the Dragon's Den. Bye for now, and I will see you on the flip side. Adios.